the bed. That's when I hit a car. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's not my fault. I tell you, you gotta be careful when you manifest these things. Welcome back to the channel. We just landed in Geneva, Switzerland, here in the heart of the Alps, where we're going on an impromptu trip to spend seven days sleeping out of this car, exploring all that the European Alps have to offer. I've been working on myself. I really try my best to change. But something's in First stop. Well, this is the space we've got to work with. So for one week, we've got to outfit this to be some form of a comfortable camper. I know it's a bit of a downgrade from the van. Just get that one. <gasps> All right. Somehow, we're gonna make all that stuff turn into the coziest little back of this van you've ever seen. We only had to buy out half of Ikea to do it. Not much to work with, but let's turn this into a five-star hotel. <laughs> Uh, pas parfait. No. Uh. Presque parfait. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, perfect. Not strong enough. <laughs> What's blocking it? Me. <laughs> My big body. There we go. I think this is pretty good. We've bought everything we need to spend the next seven nights in this car, including everything I need to survive those next seven nights. Could you believe this was only six francs? for this giant tub of what would have been $20 Nutella back in the United States. Now that I have put on the hardest outfit to take off, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Before we get to the ski resort, we are making a stop in Innsbruck, Austria. Aaron has been waiting to see some very, very pretty architecture. Is that the prettiest church you've ever seen? <laughs> People may hate on McDonald's and Starbucks. I love that they installed public restrooms in every city on earth. <laughs> This is the first place we were trying to get to. This is Kitzbühel, Austria. One of the uh, at least four ski resorts that we're gonna visit along this trip. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of snow on the mountain, but it definitely seems like a pretty cool... You found your moss, didn't you? <laughs> pretty cool, cute little Bavarian town here in the Austrian Alps. 
I think that could be 10% the price and I would still think it's expensive. Am I stupid? <laughs> Forget it. Huh? <laughs> I got it! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> it's pretty cool, huh? Ja. <laughs> Rather delicious. Ooh, scrumptious. No, it's now it's time to find a place to sleep somewhere here in a uh, near Kitzbühel. I have a few spots in mind. Somewhere down some unnamed dirt road. I hope that shouldn't be under the snow, given the fact that apparently it hasn't snowed here in like two months. <laughs> If you're wondering how we're gonna stay warm, we're just gonna run the car all night like I used to in the Ford Flex. We're just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Since it's a rental car, I really don't care about the long idle and it's not gonna use much gas. I'm like actually sweating already. You're so hot. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Even though I've been living in the van for like a year and a half now, transitioning back to the car was much more familiar than I expected. Wakey wakey, it's time for school. <laughs> On the agenda today, skiing right here at Kitski which just like all the other ski resorts we're gonna do on this trip are all on the Icon Pass, which is the same pass I used to ski with in the United States. So it's pretty convenient. Very convenient. <laughs> to us, stuff in these little Austrian grocery stores is so cheap. This was two bucks. Which was cheaper than my little tiny orange juice. <laughs> but everything, like these sandwiches are two fifty. This is unbelievable. I want to explore the only part of the mountain that seems to have enough snow to do a little backcountry. Well, I have ended up in this ravine, <laughs> which is somewhat problematic, but I think I could still make my way back. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Oh yeah. It's eventually wet out here. No clue where I am on the mountain. I guess I gotta go find Aaron now. Oh. Sorry, I got a little lost. What did you do? You'll see on the video. Ridiculous. Stupidest idea I've ever had today. Yeah, what we can see under the lift turned into just like a giant ravine with a little string.
I hope I got that on. It's our first day at Kitzbühel and we're already ducking ropes. This is very safe in ski boots, y'all. <laughs> and the little Kitzbühel deer blind treehouse. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm here now. I can't get Sorry back Sorry I abandoned you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, boys and girls. That was a pretty good day of skiing. We are smelly. <laughs> and it smells fortunately, like in here. <laughs> fortunately, there are Anytime Fitnesses in Italy, which is our next destination. Unfortunately, they're not perfectly on the way, but yeah, whatever. If you could smell what we're smelling, you'd understand why the detour is necessary. If you could smell what we're smelling, you'd probably unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Made it. <laughs> we made it to Trento in Italy. We've been trying to find a stove this whole time. Uh, 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 yeah, we're going here. And everything closes so early. Everything closes so early, but we finally found what we were looking for. So we can have home cooked meals now. It's exciting. We're gonna make some grilled cheese? Is that what you want? It's fast and furious. When in Italy, make grilled cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, try it. Pizza fingers. Is it gonna break? No, you got the bag. Why are you telling me like I'm a baby? I'm not. Is it gonna break? We came to this town for the Anytime Fitness, which I did inquire and they will let us both in, even just with my one scanner. The only place still open is the grocery store, so we got some sushi. Almost 7,000 feet up. I think this will do. This is becoming a little bit more of a process with the with the new things we've acquired. Mostly water and your wine. Hey, that's not the Pringles fault. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe also the Pringles. But I found a great little cool spot here up near uh, Cortina where we should have some excellent skiing tomorrow. There's much more snow here, so I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. We'll see you guys then, good night. Good morning. Certainly quite a bit more snow here. And as it turns out, we can actually ski and ski out to the car, which we're not gonna do because I wanna find a bathroom. A little slippery. Okay, watch out. A little bumpy right here. All right, operation, find a bathroom, find some breakfast, and then we'll, we'll see how the skiing is. It's kind of storming, so it might be pretty bad. I bought 10 pounds of Nutella, so I'm gonna use it. And nothing better than dry cereal? There's a lot of things better. <laughs> what do you want? We're in, we have a lot of options here. Well, we've decided that skiing today sounds miserable because it's raining down here, I'm sure it's snowing up there, but we'll find other things to do. So I think what we're gonna do is just drive through this Dolomite region, going from town to town, seeing what the area has to offer. It seems like this is the weather for the next few days. So maybe we make our way west after today. I'm not actually sure. We'll see, it's an impromptu trip, so anything goes. Check this out. I think you can wear whatever <laughs> you want. What? Very stylish. I love these little fortified villages. It's like the 200th clown that we've seen today for some reason. Look at this, it's beautiful. It's 
cool. I thought that was cute. Quite cute. But now we're nine kilometers from the Swiss border again, where we're heading to another kind of ski area. But the real excitement is that there's quite a big snowstorm that's amping up for tonight. Not sure how much it'll deliver. Could be a few inches, could be a few feet. We will find that out. And it's just about an hour or two into Switzerland before we get to the altitudes where we can at least escape some of this rain. So that is what's next on the agenda. chain guru of the Alps. Oh my gosh. This is a major, major winter storm we're dealing with. Oh man. In the glove box, I'm gonna need the wine opener. Yeah, of course. And then there's an empty water bottle to your right. I'm gonna also need that. Um, and then under that seat, the inverter. Okay. And the car charger, I think, right? Let's see if I can get it. I'm gonna remember one of those things. In the glove box. What else? Uh, oh yeah. That's fancy. What? Where's the knife? In the glove box. Was that on the list of things? No. Well, the side of the the side of the car is just totally covered in snow already. This is uh, this is crazy. Hopefully we just have a smooth night and are able to get away with staying here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the usual. Do you want a hammer though? Nah. Why this works? Mm. As good as made in the van. Not? I said as good. Oh. Put them so far away. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Guten Tag. Um. It appears to have snowed a lot. Like, what is that, a foot and a half maybe? Overnight? <laughs> That's crazy. I don't have my boots like I normally would. But I don't have any of my normal equipment to get out of here. <laughs> I don't even have gloves. <laughs> but if this if this is the first video you're seeing of me camping in a snowstorm, know that I'm usually far more prepared than this. Just gonna see if I have any motion at all.
Let's go. That wasn't so hard. All right, well, we made it into the pullout on the other side of the hotel where there's another hotel. You really can't see much, but my plan is to go over this pass at about a fraction of a mile per hour and then down into Milano and kind of those major Italian cities on the way to Zermatt. Unfortunately, I think we're gonna to have to forego the Dolomites this time around, just because it's gonna be snowing and it's, we're losing a day anyways, because we don't wanna ski in this. on the channel when I put chains on from people in Europe saying, you know, I've never seen those. We don't use tire chains here. We just use snow tires. We have seen what? 60 people putting on chains today across the entire pass, including the middle of the night last night. Chains are not just common, but very, very highly recommended or required in parts of the high Alps during these major storms. So yes, chains are used worldwide. It's not just a North American thing. Like these tiny, tiny little tortellini shaped pasta bits. <laughs> I'm too big to fit back there, so this is our eating arrangement. It already passed the scrumptious test from Aaron, which is really the only test that matters, but let's see. Oh yeah, it's much better store-bought sauce than we get. I'm gonna try that too. That was a very cute movie. I like those movies. Breaking Bad if it was wholesome. Okay, <laughs> good night guys. It was not supposed to be sunny today. I say we go back up to Servinia and ski today and tomorrow. With this uh, probably maybe two feet of snow that fell at the top, I can't wait. There she is. You went the wrong way. Yeah, I thought I did. <laughs> I was waiting for you. Never came. Let's see how deep last night's snowfall was. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hey, 
Move your arms more. I can't. Lunch time or breakfast? Which one? So much for this drone. It was useless today. This thing would have been carried away in an instant. Yeah. A lot of people came down through that powder there. With the wind, that was uh, that was something. <laughs> we ended up only being able to ski a half day anyways because the top trams were not open to go to the Swiss side, which is where we're going to be heading now. But first things first. We're both pretty hungry, so I'm thinking we find either a cafe here to snack on and then we make a early dinner later, or we just make lunch. Well, the good news here is that way up here at this little mountain town, we can shower in this aquatic center. So that's the plan. That way we don't have to deviate to find another anytime fitness between here and Switzerland. So I mean, that's all it takes for me to like it here. <laughs> Look at this, we've got Turkish toilets. Erin, who hasn't gone all week, she's gonna love this. <laughs> Certainly an uh, interesting experience. How'd you fare with those toilets? Standing up was kind of hard. <laughs> I didn't have service in there, and there's like a little trash can in there. I wasn't sure if that was like for feminine products. I was trying to look it up. I was like, do you flush toilet paper in Turkish toilets? Or I did it. Yeah, I did it anyway. you can flush toilet paper. Just don't flush toilet paper in Greece, but in uh, in Italy, yeah, yeah, you can flush toilet paper. Why? What's what's the story with Greek toilets? Ancient plumbing. I think that's what it is. Aaron managed to set off the- What? <laughs> I can't hear you! Set off the store alarm by walking right out of the emergency exit. <laughs> it's always you. Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love you. Don't touch me. It said alarm will sound, but it did say it in Italian. <laughs> hey, at least it wasn't crowded, so nobody really noticed. Nobody noticed? Well, the people- The whole town heard that. <laughs> Sorry, we're never coming back here. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> All right, we are making food here before it gets dark. And finally, we're in a country with a language that I actually speak. That's how you spoke earlier. <laughs> We're in Switzerland now, and this part of Switzerland speaks French. Later tonight, we're gonna drive back to a German part of Switzerland. But for now, for the zero amount of time that it actually matters, I can understand the language. All right. It's becoming a bit of a mess in here, but we're thriving. You know why I'm making salmon? Partially because it tastes good, and the other reason is because every time I make fish in one of these car camping, van camping videos, everyone comments about how horrible it's gonna smell. You don't. It doesn't happen. I'm, you don't. I'm gonna cook this, and it's not gonna smell like fish in here after I cook it, because that's oh, that's how it works. I don't know why everyone thinks that it's gonna stick forever. It just doesn't work that way. Really Color commentary back there. <laughs> also, it was on sale. Tomorrow we're having ourselves a luxury day. I have decided we're gonna have charcuterie board on the mountain. 
Beautiful views, great weather, I decided. Great weather. We're just gonna both share off of this plate like animals. Here's another one. Uh, that's fine though. Yeah. We can do that. Here, do you want the um Yeah. <clears throat> you can Now's when I deliberate a million times over how to park as evenly as possible. Maybe straight in like this. I found another great campsite here in the town of Tash, which is where the train station to Zermatt leaves from. So tomorrow, tomorrow you will see the magnificent views that are this campsite that I found because I'm just that good at finding campsites. And then we will drive to the train station where we will bring our skis up to Zermatt, ski all day, have a wonderful time in the fresh powder. Probably the best ski day of the year. But I decided to film our process of transferring all the things to the front seat at least one night so you can see what it's like to camp in such a small car uh, without having this as the plan when I came here in the first place. Weather certainly looks better than yesterday. It's not windy at all. It's gonna be nice. Let's try to get there so much early because I want to spend the whole day on the mountain. It's the only place where it's normal to get on a train with your skis dressed like this. Here we go. You really didn't make it with that much time to spare. <laughs> Sammy's. Very good. Okay, maybe it just wasn't meant to be. I loosened it for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta find a trash can, some water, because we forgot that. And then enjoy this great day of skiing. Ooh, 
I fell so hard I knocked my hat off and my goggles off and lost my phone, but I just refound it. I have snow in everything. All the way up my back, all the way down my pants. This is gonna be wonderful. process to get all the way back to the car with all the stuff we had. It was definitely oh, the most exhausting day yet. Mmm. I'm eating this bread. Go for it. Oh. We managed to miss both trains by a combined, what, 10 seconds? <laughs> what? We didn't miss the second one. Oh! Yeah, we did. You opened it. <laughs> what about little cherry tomatoes with the pasta? If we don't buy those overpriced steaks. No, but they, they do have them. They've got little cherry tomatoes. Shot. <laughs> You just yeah. think everything's cute because it's small. Is it by this one? No. So what you're saying is Duolingo is not helping so far. Okay. I'm like barely through any of it, okay? Hold on. <laughs> Et bienvenue en France. <laughs> About time. You laughing at me? <laughs> Oh look, I got a text. Hi, it's at and welcome to France. Chilling back there? Oh, straight. Oh yeah. You're so cute. You cozy? Mm hmm Feels good on my hips actually to lay down. Yeah, today, like I said, was supposed to be some luxury relaxing day. What yeah. Happened? What happened was you fell like what a thousand times. Was? What happened was? Hunger Games. No. Harry Potter. No. Ah. Those are the only two good it's movies. Always the same thing. We've already watched them. <laughs> yeah, she made us watch Mr. Bean last night. You loved it. You loved every second of it. Because it's so good. <laughs> okay. I need a muscles. Muscles here needs a knife to open this plastic bag. It's an approximation of what we make in the math. <laughs> Should I just throw these out the car? No, no, we'll find a trash can. Good morning. Another beautiful night here, this time in the French Alps. And we are about 10 minutes out from Chamonix where we finally will have a relaxing day, unlike yesterday. Some cool stuff planned for the day. And you finally get your steak in it. Because there's a real grocery store here that doesn't close at 2 p.m. <laughs> I'm like, we prepared for this moment. I have decided I'm going to do the Vallée Blanche descent from Aiguille du Midi um, by myself with very little equipment, but honestly, how hard can it be? Here's the top. 
Sunny is the sun of the moment. Freaking birds up here. A lot of Americans here. Yeah. I met this great guy, Hugo, here on the mountain. I'm gonna ski down. You're all great, you. man. <laughs> well, you're the only average exactly. that I know. <laughs> well, I'm gonna ski down with this guy all the way back to the Mail de Glace train station. Hopefully he knows his way down because I'm relying on it. I think I'll remember, it's been eight years left. <laughs> so, um, and then, that's the glacier down there. Yeah. That's the formation. We can go either to the left or the right, and it's all coming back together. We're going in, going in that O. Yeah, I mean, I'll follow you whichever way is less flat. Let's go. Joy, man. This has been absolute magic so far. I mean, guys, it's all just powder, powder, powder. <laughs> this is amazing, it's unbelievable. Why don't I just move here? All right, I'll follow you. Wow, look at those amazing lines we just did. This is the best skiing on earth. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. See that right there, guys? That's where you don't want to venture into those crevasses. They're hundreds foot deep ice caves hidden here in the middle of the uh, backcountry. Because this entire run is on a glacier. It's not something we normally get in North America, is it? Look at that, guys. Up here, in the middle of nowhere, there's like a little cafe. Huh? Only in France. Ils sont repassés le lendemain à midi. Wow. Ils sont arrivés à 3 heures au village. Pas tout le monde. Parce que là, j'imagine que c'est vraiment le seul endroit. Sauf si on veut. C'est drôle parce que les gens qui. Ils ont dû traverser le glacis sur l'autre côté. Tout de là-haut. Pretty incredible. It is.
grand. Oh yeah. Yeah, I definitely think like if it wasn't crowded and you just had it on your pass, you could do this two times in one day. Yeah. It wouldn't be so rare. Yeah, this is good because you guys are awesome. If you didn't have to eat it like this, in fact... The first you have here is the Dubuane. The Dubuane is still there. The Nonne, the Vec, the Cardinal, the Enfant de Coeur. We can do it for the first time. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Let's go to Londres. First Dubuane. Let's go to Londres. It's awesome skiing with you, Hugo. I appreciate it. Every minute of it. Next time we come to Chamonix, we're doing this again. That was... Look at that. That's where we skied from. <laughs> I came back. I came to get you. I didn't think I was going to be able to. <laughs> All right. My gosh, what, were you sleeping in here? What? The seat's so... Perfect. <laughs> That's just how I drive. I have to say, all of the, you know, talk about the insane difficulty, the crampons, the pickaxe. Give me a break. You could see that whole thing in one hour, 45 minutes even. Um, you don't need crampons. You don't need ice axes. You don't need any of that stuff. Um, but I get it. It's uh, if you're unprepared. Really, the one skill you need is the ability to ski deep powder. If you can't do that, you're in trouble. Yoink! Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> sure, I bet that's like the uh, what did he give me? <laughs> you and your you and your shoes. <laughs> It's fun to make fun of her with the cashier because she has no idea what we're talking about. I understood like... <laughs> you understood the facial expressions. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> Good morning. Bonjour. We got some giant pan Look at that. Check. Oh, that it's our last day here in Europe. <laughs> so we're gonna take full advantage by skiing here at Brévent in Chamonix. I'm gonna ski through here. Total disorganization. Why 
to even help scan out the lift access mix is beyond me. Go for it. You'll see that the, the faster you go, the less you feel impacts from jumps. I honestly think that was the best run you've ever done. Erin has decided she is ready to try the first shoot of her life. Maybe, maybe not. No. We're gonna take it slow. It's low contrast now. Just follow me pretty much exactly. Can you make a turn here? It's very, very responsive snow. You put all the weight on this foot. Stop doing that. Why is that? That should never happen. You should literally be skiing only on that outside foot. You can do it. Plant the pole. It's very steep. Here, wait, I'm gonna film. It looks very steep from here. Yeah, just give it a shot. I'm stuck. You're not stuck. As you traverse a little bit, or like slide down a little so you have a little momentum going into the turn. I, I can't get myself to do it. <laughs> Let me move out of the way here. I'm in the danger zone. It's not... See? That was so good! Can I go this way? Nope. Look, look at that. I mean this is this is a this is a proper This would be a double black. So, so. Yes. If it's too scary, you just slide down. See like there's a rock here, so slide around it to avoid it. Nice. No, I mean that 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 ability is, is a very good ability to have. You're doing so good. That's just how I have to do it. It's okay, it's okay. Now falling backwards like that is fine. See, it's very good snow for this. Not icy at all. If it was icy, this would be a disaster. Yeah, no, I would be dead right there by right. How are you feeling? You have a liquid? You've been skiing. Really sweaty. <laughs> well, that's okay. See, so you got wider now. You can make bigger turns. No, you haven't. You're good.
Skate, skate down to here. Just slide down to right there. And then make the turn around that. There you go, perfect. Nice, nice. Because you want to be able to plant the pole in one hand and the other. Alright, watch this. Well, fi and find your line before you do it. Just go around a couple of them. And remember to go around the bump. You feeling it? You're doing, pretty, you're doing very good. so well with the this one's big though the Matt Rainier one that's perfect you have to put is that gonna fit in here? Mm -hmm. huh. so pretty Unfortunately, we are parked here at the dumpsters because although we had this awesome setup back here This is a totally impromptu trip and we have to return the rental car tonight So all this stuff has to get thrown out. We don't have time to donate it But if this video concept becomes popular and you guys love it, we're gonna do this a lot I think that we could scout out deals and we could actually find um, You know source some of this stuff a little bit more cheaply and maybe be able to actually have a destination for it eventually other than the trash can Luckily, I was able to give some of those things away to a nice <laughs> A nice guy that just pulled in here, so at least we don't feel too wasteful. I think this is one of the most fun weeks of both of our lives. So yeah, if, if this is a popular concept, and let us know in the comments if you enjoyed it, then we will certainly be doing it again. Thank you guys so much for following along on this week of impromptu adventures. If you enjoyed this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel, and there will be more like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Who's that? Huh. Ah, chill! <laughs>